Hi everyone, Jamie here from the Line Zero team. And there's been a bunch of updates and uh, happenings, if you will, in the whole virtual reality space lately. And the one that's been making waves has been Apple's introduction, so to speak, of their product, the Vision Pro, to the marketplace. And there's been a number of questions that have popped up as a result of that. And so we figured we'd do a little bit of a Q&A to address some of those. I think the first one that kind of popped up was, who owns the metaverse or is the metaverse owned by anyone? Obviously, there are Meta, for example, has been in the game for quite some time, and they're working very hard on building the metaverse or a version of their metaverse or their metaverse. Many companies, corporate, retail, etc., have also been building storefronts, malls, etc., different ways to engage customers, users, employees in virtual reality in the metaverse. And obviously, with Apple coming to market now, I think what that does is demonstrate that the metaverse is very similar, I feel, to a number of other products where there's going to be lots of options, lots of choices for people, and it's not going to be owned by any one company. And there will certainly be winners and losers, I think, in that space, but it's not going to be only one company that controls the future and dominates the game. There are likely to be some winners and losers from, let's say, a corporate perspective or a consumer perspective, right? So, for example, perhaps Apple, like the rest of their ecosystem, is targeting the consumer market, and perhaps this will be a good way for them to capture that. There have been a number of pretty significant investments into the corporate metaverse. Meta, obviously, Microsoft to a certain extent with its HoloLens. And so I think there's still, it's to be determined where the winners and losers will be, but certainly it won't be owned by any one organization, which I think is really good for the industry and for everyone at large. The second question I think that pops up is, what's the impact of Apple's new product as it relates to the metaverse? I think it's amazing be honest, for a number of reasons. So first and foremost is Apple entering into the space, I think brings the whole virtual reality, mixed reality, metaverse conversation into the forefront and probably brings with it a certain sense of authenticity, right? We now have a number of very large corporate giants, these tech monoliths that are investing billions of dollars into this space. And they've tended to be fairly accurate in the past, maybe not always perfect, but fairly accurate in the past in terms of where to invest, what's the next trends going to be, how are people going to interact with or engage with technology in the time coming. So I think them, Apple investing in the way that they are has really been, is going to be good for the ecosystem. There's other things I think that's going to be really beneficial from this. Probably the most impactful, which will be behind the scenes, but will really, I think, accelerate this journey is right now in the mobile environment, you've got Google and Apple, and really there's two ecosystems, right? You've got the Play Store with Google, you've got the, the iOS store for Apple. And each of those, the developers that build the applications, because really it's the applications that add value into the ecosystem, it's not the actual phone itself. Although of course there is some, there is some intrinsic value in the device itself, but it's the applications that make value. So with Apple coming here, I believe what it will do is it will actually help pull some of the developer ecosystem over to, and hopefully they built out development kits, et cetera, for their Vision Pro, which again, if there's more developers into the mixed reality ecosystem, building applications, innovating, thinking through new things and a way to optimize and leverage technology in ways existing ecosystem isn't, that's gonna be very positive for the ecosystem. So just Apple entering the game and hopefully with inertia and drag pulls its developer ecosystem into this on top of what's already been there from a meta perspective in terms of very rich ecosystem. It's gonna be really positive, really positive. And then third, I think it will actually bring with it big players, people like Disney or others that are in the entertainment space. Again, maybe perhaps on the more consumer side, because Apple's entering the market, they tend to have a fairly high track record of success in the products that they bring to market. Think iPads, iPhones, even the Apple Watch. All of these things have been, maybe not initially, like the Apple Watch wasn't initially, I don't think, a commercial success, but it has been improving and developing over time. And now there's a lot happening in that space and it's here to stay. I think that's what's gonna happen with, with mixed reality and Apple entering into the space. So then the pivot is, okay, we, that's, largely consumer centric, is there any impact positive or negative from a corporate perspective? What's, what will happen to the corporate metaverse? And like other trends we have seen, I think there will be instances where our 
personal or our consumer habits are going to dictate or influence how we operate and work at work. So again, with Apple entering the market, probably looking to really target the consumer market, that's really their niche. They are going to innovate and create connectivity, entertainment, all sorts of innovations and applications and use cases that we haven't even thought of for mixed reality. And that's going to influence how people build or think about applications or how to add value to companies or corporate environments through mixed reality. So I think there's that consumer influencing corporate, which will happen. The other piece, again, is I think it's going to create and make the market larger. So again, Apple entering into this, other people are going to look at it and say, okay, this market's actually just the fact that Apple is there makes the total addressable market for mixed reality larger just by itself. And that's going to pull others in and people are going to either partner like Microsoft, for example, announcing a very significant partnership with Meta and the quest to breed Office 365 and their productivity tools into mixed reality through those environments. That's going to happen more and more and it's going to be amplified, I believe, by Apple being in the market. So lots of really great positive momentum that's going to be come as a result of this. And I think there's nothing but, uh, but good things ahead, obviously with a little bit of bumps perhaps, but good things ahead for mixed reality in general by Apple entering in this market. As always, if you have any questions, we'd love to have a conversation. You can reach out to us at engage at And thank you for listening.